Once again, we welcome you to the University of Arkansas and high love to the H.O. Women's Arena for the final game of the evening featuring the Alcorn State Braves and your UAPB Golden Lions.
We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. Golden Lions on a six-point lead, 12 to six, with exactly 15 minutes remaining in this first half. And looking at the standings in the SWAC on the men's side, Gremlin State and Alcorn State sit atop the SWAC standings at 14 and three conference records. You have Southern and Jackson State both tied for second place. Both have 11 and six conference records. Alabama and M comes in at fifth. They are nine and eight. Prairie View at eight and nine. Texas Southern and Bethune Cookman at seven and ten, and the Golden Lions sitting at six and eleven, along with Alabama State. As Sean Dawes Jr. knocks down his first free throw, you'll have one remaining. Makes it for his fifth point. So just under 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Golden Lions 14, Alcorn six. As where will defend on By Byron Joshua. Here's the attack by Joshua. Goes to the cup and finish. Finishes is Joshua. And now the score is 14-8. Golden Lions. Milton will bring it up. He'll hand it off to Robert Lewis. He gets it to Doss. Back to Milton. Over to Green. Doss attacks the left side. He's going to kick back out to Green. Thought about the three. But again, off to a slow start. Green from behind the arc. He's going to take another one here. And that's going to be too strong as well. Hits the back of the backboard. And it goes over to Alcorn. Green starting out 0 for 5 here. From behind the arc. But again, shooter shoot. <laughs> Green is not shy about doing that. So the Braves will have it here. They'll drive into the lane. No good was number 15, Willie Anderson, rebound by Robert Lewis. Kyler Milton has it. He brings it into the front court. Sweeps it over to Dawson from the corner. Another three. And that's short. And we have... We have to our student athlete advisory committee. The track team will be connected to the spot wiped up. And the actually the uh the pole that covers the pole. The cap is actually a little bit loose. I'm gonna take it down here, make sure. None of the players are injured. Thirteen forty-nine remaining in the first half. Golden Lions lead fourteen to eight over the Alcorn State Braves. As we try to get these stats for you here. And we're just about ready to do some action. about ready to do some action with both sides as they play the commercial. Southern Heritage Classic next year. Golden Lions will be in Memphis taking on Tennessee State as we have a whistle here. We get Chris Green for the foul, his first personal, and the third on the Golden Lions. Ready to resume action. Here's Byron Joshua. He drops it off. Nice pass. Done drill from quarter. Finishing it off, slamming it home. And the Braves will be Kyler Milton brings it up. He'll be picked up by Joshua. For Green. Milton takes the deep three. It's going to be short. Rebound by Robert Lewis. Has it stripped away into the hands of Keandre Montgomery. He'll bring it up for, for the Braves. Hands it off to Joshua. He'll set up the play. Lions holding on to a four-point advantage. There's a trap. Gets out of it. Here's an attack. The shot partially blocked. But there's a problem with the play. That was done for the quarter. Attacks the basket. He's going to be fouled by Zach Meinhardt, who's just entered the game. That's his first person. And the fourth on the Golden Lions. 
So the foul will result in two shots from Dontrell McWhorter. The senior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Take his first free throw. Up and good. As Caleb Stokes enters the ball game. The Rock Arkansas native. Crowd favorite.
as a hands-only person program for STEM enrichments. Once again, these students are from Orion here with Let's give them a hand, folks. The rising program is honored with the rest of Ms. Laura Hillary and Dr. Charles Cohen. Continue to soar, students. Once again, all student athletes participating in academic night, please report to the lobby at this time. game next week in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and they will take on the winner of Harrison and Lake Hamilton, who plays at, uh, I believe, at 8.30 p.m. tonight, or maybe 7 p.m. at the Pine Bluff Convention Center. Of course, the West Memphis uh, girls team, uh, they're battling as we speak against Greenwood for their uh, ticket, try to earn a ticket to Hot Springs for the state finals. All right, we're back underway. This is Byron Joshua has it knocked away. Caleb Stokes has it. In a battle for the ball, last rolls off of the Braves, goes over to the Golden Lions. Nice hustle there by Caleb Stokes. The big man getting on the floor for the ball. You love to see that. Giving maximum effort there. And it results in the possession going over to the Golden Lions. Again, 15-13, still our score. Golden Lions on top by two. In the regular season finale here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. As this will be Orion into the ball game. He misses offensive board by the Golden Lions. Last shot was missed by Orion Burden. Here's Caleb Stokes down low. He goes up strong over the top of the defender. No good. Rebound by the Braves. So Joshua brings up. He'll be guarded by Ware. Shot clock. Down. It's at 15. There's a steal by Caleb Stokes into the hand of Sean Dawes Jr. He goes up and finishes at the cup with the layup and a four point advantage. Golden Lions. Nine and a half remaining in the first half. Joshua will be picked up by Ware. He's going to attack the basket. Goes all the way in, throws it across court, swings it out. Nice ball movement. Three point shot is up and good by DeKedra Thorne. And the Braves pull within one. Here's Ware with the crossover, goes to the left side, drops it off to Caleb Stokes. Stokes finishes, and there's Caleb Stokes with his first bucket off the Trey John Ware son. assist. Now under nine minutes remaining in this first half. The matchup is Joshua and Ware out top. Pass down low, here's the drive into the lane, the floater, no good. That shot missed by Montgomery, rebound Caleb Stokes. Burden gets it over to Ware. Kick it back out to Green. Green thought about the three. He's going to drive down the lane. Jumper, no good. Rebound. Great. That's Dominic Root with the rebound. He's going to take it all the way to the cup and finishes. That's going to be on Sean Green. Excuse me, Chris Green. So the basket is good. Second foul on Chris Green. The sixth on the Golden Lions. So there will be Dominic Root, the 6'4 sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio. He'll head to the line for a three-point play opportunity. As he was able to convert on the layup. And he makes the free throw. We're tied at 19 now. First tie since 0-0 at the beginning of the game. Kylie Milton has it. He swings it over to Robert Lewis. Takes the three. Lewis too strong. 
Sean Dawes getting up. He tapped the rebound into the hands of Joshua. Here come the Braves. Joshua trying to attack, jumps right up through. Trey John Ware, no call. Here's a tip. And last touch by Alcorn State. Possession goes over to the Blue Lions. Macy Curry preparing to check in as we have a media timeout on the court. We'll take one as well. 7.55 remaining in this first half. We're all knotted at 19 with the Golden Lions and the Alcorn State Braves. This is the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back. tied at 19 with 7.55 remaining in this first half. Golden Lions have possession, and they'll bring it up with Kylan Milton. He'll swing it over to Lewis, over to A.C. Curry. He's just entered the game for the first time tonight. Sean Doss has it at the top of the key. He'll drive, pull it back out. And they're threatened with a double team. Doss resets and comes back again, kicks it out to where. Shot clock down to seven. He'll get it to Milton. Milton will turn the corner, goes up. Oh. And it should have been an end one. He finishes tough, strong move there by Kylan Milton. And he's able to finish and regain the lead for the Golden Lions. 21-19 our score. 7-20 remaining in the first half. This will be Bruton out top, guarded by Doss. He'll get it over to Joshua. Joshua gets the screen. Swings it over to Otis Walker. He'll kick it back out top to Joshua. Inside feed. Dominic Brute going to attack with the fadeaway. The floater, no good. Offensive board there by Walker. And A.C. Curry is there to knock that one away into the hands of Kylie Milton. Here comes the Golden Lions. Milton up the left side. Crosses over, goes toward the middle of the lane, lays it up. Off the glass, too strong. And the rebound is to the Braves. Nice drive there by Milton, just not able to finish. As Joshua kicks it out, three-point shot up, and an air ball rebounded by Robert Lewis. That shot missed by Nikita Thorne as the Golden Lions will set it up. Robert Lewis has it deep in the post. He misses the easy layup. And the freshman has to finish that one. Rebound goes over to the Braves. But you love the confidence. He did not hesitate on that shot, which he shouldn't have. And nine times out of ten, Lewis will make that short shot. Here's Milton with the block. They're going to call him for the foul. Kylan Milton and seven on the Golden Lions. Milton is probably going to have to take a, take a seat for a minute. Early foul trouble for the Golden Lions and Kylan Milton. 6.06 remaining in this first half. And it'll send Byron Joshua to the line for two. First free throw too strong. Chris Green will relieve Doss. He actually will relieve Milton. So Milton with three fouls, he'll take a seat. 
as Byron Joshua will have one free throw remaining, and he connects. <laughs> Trevin Wade returns for the Braves, and Caleb Stokes returns for the Golden Lions. So it'll be A.C. Curry, Robert Lewis, Caleb Stokes, Chris Green, and Trajan Ware on the court for the Golden Lions. And for the Braves, they have Wade, Walker, Bruton, Montgomery, and it's also number 12, Thorne on the court. Start. Here's the inside feed to Caleb Stokes. He'll be double team. Tries to slip through it. Decides to just kick it back out. He does. Gets it out to Sean Green. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Green attacks, has it stripped away. And the Braves still a little away from the Golden Lions. Into the front court with about five and a half minutes remaining. There's a shot, no good, by Montgomery. And the board goes over to the Golden Lions. Trayvon Ware is going to press, gets it to Green in the corner, takes a three and laces it. So Chris Green knocks down his first three-pointer tonight. I think he's like one for six. As you hear the, the fan telling Coach Bolden, let that shooter shoot. And he does not hesitate, so I, I don't think that's an issue <laughs> for Chris Green. Here comes the Braves. They have it. The drive goes up off the glass. No good. A.C. Curry with the rebound off of the Dominic Brute miss. They'll get over to Trey John Ware, and he'll slow it down and bring it up court. Here's Lewis. Over to Ware. Kicks across court to A.C. Curry. Lewis back out to Green. He takes another three. A little bit too strong. And Caleb Stokes with the rebound, but they're going to call him for a foul. So Caleb Stokes called for his first personal. That's going to be eight on the Golden Lions. So the Braves shooting in the bonus now. They have the one and one opportunity with uh, Keandre Montgomery. Montgomery's first free throw. The front end is good. He earned himself another. And he pulls the Braves within three. 438 remaining in the first half. The Lions holding on to a three-point advantage. And he misses the second. Robert Lewis grabs the board. So Trey Dunn, where would bring it up for the Golden Lions? Again, holding on to a slight lead. Where attacks the basket, kicks it over to the Curry. The Curry, the corner to Curry, he misses. And the rebound by the Braves. Joshua brings it up court, picked up by Sean Doss. Your coach going out the double high offense for the Braves. Joshua will drive. He's going to run over Trey John Ware and be called for the offensive foul. So that will call on Byron Joshua, his first personal. It'll be five against the Braves. As the trail with quarter returns for all court. Southern game has been delayed. Grammar trails Alabama State 23 18 with 806 remaining in the first half. Golden Lions have possession here with Sean Dawes Jr. He attacks the left side, goes up and under. No good. Rebounded by Thorne. And here come the Braves. Joshua will bring it up court. And here's the pump fake. The drive by Wade goes up, kicks it back out to Joshua. Braves looking for the perfect shot. They'll take it from the corner. And the three pointer is knocked down by Otis Walker. And he ties the game at 24. Walker will pick up, excuse me, Wade will pick up Mark, uh, Ware out top. Shot clock down to 15. Game clock at 320. Chris Green kicks it over to Doss. Back to Green. Takes another three. And he's been pretty much off today. About one of eight. One of seven or one of eight. It goes over to the Braves. Sweet trip and Wade. We'll get over to Joshua, who's picked up by Green. 
Joshua's going to attack close to the cup. Had it knocked away. And actually thought it went off Joshua's arm after Green had hit it, but they're going to say it belongs to the Braves. Shot clock down to 12, and immediate timeout on the court. We'll take one as well with 2.55 remaining. We're tied at 24 here inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. Golden Lions and Alcorn State Braves. We'll be back in just a moment on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. Inside the H.O. Clemens Arena, Golden Lions and the Braves of Alcorn State University tied at 24. Golden Lions have led for the majority of this ball game thus far, but has relinquished the lead a couple of times. And the Braves will have possession here, an opportunity to go ahead if they're able to score. This will be passed in to McCorder. He has it out to Joshua. Here comes the trap. Shot clock down to one. Joshua has to take a long three. No good. And the rebound chased down by Sean Dawes Jr. Doesn't have the number, so he'll just pull it out, kick it out to where? And the Golden Lions will reset. Here's the feed to Lewis. Lewis gets it off to where? Swings it over to Curry. That's the shot. Swing it into Dawes, who goes up, draws the contact, misses, gets his own follow, puts it back, but it's no good, but he'll be fouled and head to the line. They're going to get done trail with quarter with this first person. And that's going to be six on the Alcorn State Braves. So the next foul will put the Golden Lions in the bonus as Sean Dawes Jr., the SWAC's leading scorer, heads to the line. First free throw up and good by Dawes. Now with eight points on the evening. As Keandre Montgomery returns for the Braves. One shot remaining for Sean Dawes Jr. Go to Lions on a one point advantage. He can extend it to a bucket. And does. 26 24 now, our score, two point lead, 215 remaining in this first half. Joshua will be picked up by Ware at about midcourt as Coach Bozeman tells him to back it down a little bit. Man to man defense, inside feed. Robert Lewis guarding, passes out, three-point shot up and too strong, missed by Otis Walker into the hands of Chris Green. He gets it out to where, where attacks, swings it down, looking for A.C. Curry, doing a little bit too much. And that one travels out of bounds. So possession belongs to the Braves. They have a two-point deficit, under two minutes remaining in the half. 150 left in this first half. Braves have it on the right wing. Swing it out top. Screen from Joshua. Inside feet, Robert Lewis defending against Jeremiah Kendall. Kicks it back out. Montgomery has it. He's double teamed. In a little bit of trouble. Shot clock at seven. Takes the deep three-pointer. Almost hits a rebound by A.C. Curry. He gets it out to where he brings it out. Over to Chris Green. He takes the three. And too strong, Chris Green gets his own rebound, fakes this pass, and he's going to go up strong. And he's going to be called for the blocking foul. That's on Otis Walker. Only his first foul, but that will be the seventh against the Braves, and the Golden Lions will be at the line 
for the remainder. Now, this was a shooting foul, so Chris Green will have two. But the Golden Lions in the bonus with the one and one, 17 fouls against the Braves. So Chris Green at the line, has an opportunity to extend the lead. Misses the first free throw. As Caleb Stokes returns for Pine Bluff, Dominic Root for the Braves. Chris Green will have one shot remaining. And can make it a six point lead for the Golden Lions. And does. So Chris Green makes his second shot. Golden Lions lead 27 24. 110 remaining in the first half. This will be Joshua bringing it up court. He'll be picked up by Trey John Ware. Moving his feet. Nice defense there by Ware. Pass down low. Kicks it back out. Here's the attack. A nice shot, but not able to finish. And we have a foul called. This one's going against the Braves. So that's on number 13, Jeremiah Kendall, his first personal in the 18th foul. Trey John Ware will head to the line. He'll have the one and one. First free throw by Ware, up and good, earning himself another. 28 24 now, a score 46.8 remaining in the first half. Golden Lions on top. And Ware knocks down both free throws and extends the lead to five. So Joshua will walk it up court for the Braves. Coach Bussy calling out the plays here. Coach's box. Joshua gets the screen, turns the corner, goes up off the glass. Nice shot there by Byron Joshua. He converts on the layup and pulls the Braves within three. So Trey John Ware will short, slow it down. Shot clock is now off. And it looks like the Golden Lions are going to hold for the final shot of the first half. They lead by three. Trey John Ware has it. Clock now down to 12 seconds. Gets it over to Green. They get into the offense to Curry to. Sean Dawes Jr. gets the screen from Caleb Stokes. Clock now down to five. Here's the double team. And Dawes gets it up and almost makes it off the glass. Sean Dawes Jr. not able to complete it. But we are at the half, ladies and gentlemen. I'll score UABB 29, Allborn State 26. We'll take a break and be back with more in two minutes on the Reliance Bank halftime show here on the Reliance Bank broadcast. We'll go to Reliance Sports on 99. We'll be back.
And number 24, Ms. Razina Potter. Ms. Potter is a graduate student from Tracy, California. She has been escorted this evening by her teammates. And after graduation, Ms. Potter plans to pursue a career in the forensic sciences field. We're at the half here in the Ato Clemens Arena. Golden Lions lead the Alcorn State Braves 29 to 26. And we're about 14 minutes outside of the second half tip off. Looking at some of the numbers from the first half, ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Lions shooting pretty well from the field. Well, actually 25% from the field, not shooting well at all. And, uh, but from the free throw line, 81.8%, 9 of 11. So that's definitely a positive note for the Golden Lions and Coach Solomon Bozeman. As far as the Alcorn State Braves, they're shooting 33.3% from the field, only 22.2 from behind the arc, uh, two of nine from three-point range. Looking at some of the numbers in the paint, Alcorn leads 12 to eight. Second chance points, pretty even. Golden Lions have the three-point advantage. Fast break points, seven for Alcorn and three for the Golden Lions. And Alcorn actually has 10 bench points, and typically the Golden Lions lead other teams as far as bench points are concerned. As you see, Kylan Milton, and uh, Chris Green coming off the bench as they honor the UABB senior basketball players here on the court at the half. Leading scorers for both teams for the Golden Lions. You have Kylan Milton and Sean Dawes Jr. both with nine points. Trey John Ware has five and Chris Green with four. On the flip side, Byron Joshua has seven points, followed by Trevin Wade with six. And McQuarter, Bruton, and Thorne all with three points in that first half for the Braves. So the Golden Lions again lead here at the half, 29-26, and looking for some scoring updates for you from a, around the SWAC. And the Southern Alabama a &M game has been delayed. Um, I'm not sure if it's due to inclement weather or what the situation is there, but they have not started that ball game as of yet. It's a close one, Gremlin State leads Alabama State 26-25 with 4.47 remaining in the opening half. And just underway, Jackson State and Mississippi Valley State. Uh, no score there as they had just started uh, in the first minute of that ball game. Prairie View defeated Texas Southern 78-74. And Bethune-Cookman knocked off FAMU 92-70. Once again, folks, we're at the half. Golden Lions lead 29-26. And we're about 12 minutes outside the second half tip-off. We'll take about a 10-minute break. And when we return, we have second half action with your Golden Lions leading the Alcorn State Braves 29-26 at the half on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back. Madison Hernandez, Cameron Rodriguez, Taylor Schumacher, 
Bruce and Osaku, Alexia Duke, Ashley McGuire, Denise Pantanelia, Hawaii Goldbutt, Brooke Gonzalez, Michaela Rockdale, Tiana Johnson, and Jill McGuire, our UAPB soccer team. The women's basketball, Takeda Dusty, Maya Pink, Brooke Whitbeard, Andrews Roberts, Jalisa Reese, Marquisha Bonnie, Demetrius Sutter, Diego Zalazza, and Angelazia Paul. Our field of the women's basketball, introducing our men's guard, Tyler Pinks, Patrick McIntyre, Jared Sharon, Ishmael Garcia, and Lee Sue. And to use our women's track and field of our cross country, Brianna Guy, Shane Ann Hampton, Gordon Wright, Kayden Kimball, Shalila McFarland, Leandria Elam, Chris Ann Plummer, Catherine Moore, Sharice Cole, Brooke White, Lydia Lentry, and Kylie Williams. The women's track and field of our cross country. Introduce my men's track and field. Brandon Stratzelius, Chi Walshman, Barry Freeman, Genesis Joseph, Terrence Johnson, Tariq Xavier, Ryan Lawfire, Khalil Dillon, Muhammad Tavari, Ross Warman, Stephen Lane, and Daniel Bay, men's track and field. Introduce my football team. To King Drew Elder, Jamal Foote, Carol McGray, Javon Gray, Tim Atkins, Monroe Beard III, Rashad DeCosta, Jordan Mack, Corus Hudson, Aiden Smith, Thomas Rennie, Gavarius Lowe, Marcus Askey, Orlando Jones Jr., Kikarius Clark, Calvin Lester, Ryan Woods, Makai Correll, Jamie McCrone, Courtney Van Buren, Daytrail Cooper, Jonathan Williams, Isaiah Ward, Daryl Holston, The Pearl Boy, Tyree Johnson, Michael Riley, Kenzie Lewis, Maurice Lloyd, Chancellor Edwards, Anas LeBron, Tristan Ballard, Derek White, James Finn, Joe Rod Williams, Renee Hogan, Ralph Covington, Stanley Oxford, Kevin Compton, and Christopher Thompson. UAPB football. <laughs> Men's basketball, Sean Doss, Graham Harris, Robert Lewis, Ismail Platt, Zachariah Reinhardt, Christopher Green, and Karan Coleman. UAPB Men's Basketball. Once again, folks, let's give it up for our student athletes here at the University of Arkansas at Pineville. We salute you.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for a second half action. Go to Lions lead 29-26, and we're just underway. Possession belongs to Prairie View. Check that. Alcorn State. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. Been a long week. Alcorn attacks, and this is number 13 off the shot. And it's going to travel out of bounds. Shot missed by Jeremiah Kendall. And it goes over to the Golden Lions. Here's a pass. Kylan Milton has it. Swings it over to Sean Dawes Jr. Here's Dawes with the fadeaway jumper. No good. Fight for the rebound. Ends in the hands of the Braves. Here comes Joshua. He takes it down the lane. Goes up off the glass and good. They're going to get him for an offensive foul so you can scratch the basket. And the possession goes over to the Golden Lions. So the offensive foul is against number two, Byron Joshua, his second personal. That's going to be the first team foul against the Braves. Again, just underway here in the second half, 29-26, Golden Lions holding on to the three-point advantage. 19-18 remaining in the ball game. And it seems like some shenanigans going on. Kyler Milton will bring it up court. Sean Doss has it. He'll be guarded by the Kedron Thorne. Man to man. Looks like a zone matchup defense for the Braves. Doss swings it over to Milton. They swing it all the way back around to Doss. He attacks the left side, goes up strong, initiates the contact, and he's headed to the line. That foul called on the Kedron Thorne. That'll be his first personal and the second against the Braves. Sean Dawes Jr., the SWAC's leading scorer, he'll head to the line for two. And again, the advantage is three points for the Golden Lions. And Dawes will have two shots here. First free throw is no good. He'll have one remaining. As Dawson is able to make the second free throw. So Joshua will bring it up. He'll be picked up by Ware. And the Dawson swings it across. Here's a foul call. And it's going to be called on Trey John Ware. <laughs> As you hear the fans, they wanted Coach Bussy to get a, a technical foul. As he called the foul right before the official did. That's going to be the first one on Trey John Ware and the first against the Golden Lions this half. Rays will set it up. This is Thorne. He'll get it inside. Chris Green defending. This is Duntrell McQuarter. He'll go up. This is the shot. The putback is no good. But we have a foul on the putback. And that's going to be against Kylan Milton. That's Kylan Milton's fourth personal foul. Milton with nine points and four fouls here so far in this ball game. And that'll send Jeremiah Kendall to the line. Cut to three, 30 to 27. And my bad, folks. Kendall missed the first free throw. Here's Kylie Milton from the corner from downtown. Milton strikes and extends the lead to six. 18 minutes remaining in the game. Go to Lions up 33 27. Milton with his 12th point on the night. He has four fouls, so he's not to be extra careful. 
As something happened and some stuff was thrown out on the court. <laughs> I think the baby over there on the, the court side seat. He got upset, I think, with his grandfather or somebody. And he decides just to throw the programs onto the court. <laughs> and you can see granddaddy over there. This one, the young man, he's hot. He has his hands folded. He's mad. Here's Joshua with the confusion on the sideline. Joshua knocks down the jumper. And the Braves pull within four, 33 to 29. Joshua now with nine points for Alcorn. Zach Reinhardt has it. He's on the court with Ware, Green, Robert Lewis, and Doss. Doss gets it, tacks, drops it off to Lewis, who goes up strong. And he's going to be hacked. And he's headed to the line. They're going to get number 11, Otis Walker, with his second personal. And that'll be three on the Braves here in this half. Again, as they trail by four. 17-25 remaining. Robert Lewis heads to the line. He'll have two shots. Try to extend this lead. First free throw is good by Lewis as he gets the shooter's roll. Bounced around a little bit there, but dropped for him. He'll have one remaining. Don't forget, folks, 5A State Championship Tournament High School Basketball Action on our sister station, Oldies 101.3 FM. You, know, you can flip back and forth, check out them, as well as the Golden Lions. As Robert Lewis knocks down his second free throw, and he extends the lead 35-29. to Six-point advantage, Golden Lions, as Joshua will bring it across midcourt, picked up by Trey John Ware. He'll hand it off, fakes the handoff, and this Joshua turning the corner, gets it to the opposite corner. Here's the three-point shot up and laces it. That's number 12. Knocking down a jumper to Keidra Thorne. Almost a steal there. Doss has it. Reinhardt has it blocked from the corner. And Joshua comes down with the rebound. Four-point advantage. Golden Lions gets it out front. And the easy layup by the Keidra Thorne pulls the Braves within two. 35 to 33 now our score. Thorne's now has seven points. Golden Lions have possession. Chris Green has it. Swings it over to Reinhardt on the right wing. He'll get it down to Dawes has it picked away and stolen back. Last touch by Sean Dawes Jr. and it goes over to Alcorn State. Actually, they're going to get Sean Dawes Jr. for a foul. So Dawes called for his second personal. It'll be the second one on the Golden Lions as well. Actually, the third on UAPB. As they will send the teams to their respective benches. I think they're going to take a look at this previous play. And they're going to review the previous play. 35-33 is our score. 16-35 remaining. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be back with more. Go to Lions lead by two. 1635 remaining in the ball game. This is the Reliance Bank broadcast of Go to Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. the H.O. Clemens Arena as they review the previous play. Go to Lions hold on to a two-point lead. As we prepare to resume action. So the Braves have possession here. Joshua will bring it across court. 16 and a half left in the game. Go to Lions up by two. Where it will pick up Joshua, he'll get a screen. The screen slipped. They'll swing it over, almost losing the handle is Thorne. 
He'll reset, guarded by Sean Dawes Jr. Dawes rips it away into the hands of A.C. Curry, and he'll get it ahead to Trey John Ware. Again, two-point lead, and Ware being trapped in the corner. He'll just call timeout here. 16-10 remaining. It will turn into a media timeout on the court. So we'll take a timeout as well. 16-10 remaining in the game. 35-33. Go to Lions on top by two. We'll be back in one minute on the Reliance Bank Broadcast. Go to Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. A.C. Curry will inbound. It looks like man-to-man -man defense by the Braves. Trey John Ware gets it, goes straight to the cup, swings it over to Green in the corner, but they're going to get Ware for the offensive foul prior to the pass. And that's going to be the second one on Trey John Ware and the fourth on the Golden Lions. So Joshua brings it up court. Again, Braves trailing by two to find Bluff. We're now under 16 minutes remaining in the game. Joshua has it looking inside. He splits the double team. Gets it over to McWhorter, who goes up. Shot no good. McWhorter ends up with it again. He puts it up, and it's good. The game is now tied at 35. Golden Lions have possession. Robert Lewis gets it from Ware, hands it back off to him. Green thought about a three from the corner. He'll just kick it back out to Ware on the right wing. Doss gets it, matched up one-on-one -on -one with Thorne. Back out to Ware. Ware gets it back to Doss, five seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Green, takes the three from the corner. No good, rebound A.C. Curry. And he'll kick it back out to Trey John Ware. Attacks the basket, kicks it out to Doss. He takes the three. Oh, halfway down and comes out. Robert Lewis with the rebound. And he'll get it out to Ware. Nice offensive board. Ware is going to try a three. It's short. And Robert Lewis will fight for the board. It's going to be off Pine Bluff. And goes over to the Braves. So it looks like we have another timeout. Actually was a full coach's timeout prior. This is actually the media timeout, so we'll take it with them. With 14.58 remaining, we'll tie it at 35, Alcorn State and UAPD. The Lions Bank Podcast of the Lions Sports. 99. We'll be back in one minute.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, inside the H.O. Clemens Arena, where the Golden Lions and the Alcorn State Braves are tied at 35 apiece with 14.58 remaining in the ball game. Laurent Marbley here on the call, as this is the regular season finale for both the Lady Lions and Golden Lions. Lady Lions headed for the SWAC tournament next week, and the Golden Lions will have to wait and see if they are able to get in depending on some wins and losses on tonight. Speaking of which, we'll try to give you some updates here in a moment as the shot is made by Jeremiah Kendall. And the Braves take their, I want to say, the first speed since early on in the first half. Trey John Ware in a little bit of trouble. He's not to get rid of it, and he does. And good call there by the official. Most Bussy wanted the call against Chris Green, but they're going to get Dontrell McCorder with the hole prior to the foul by Chris Green. That's going to be four on the Braves and the third on Dontrell McCorder. So Ladarius Marshall will see his first action tonight, the 6'7 senior from Jackson, Mississippi. Transfer in, transferred in from New Orleans. As Chris Green is injured on the play. He'll be attended to. By Z. And he seems to be favoring that right leg as he will try to walk it off. So Chris Green will have to take a seat due to the injury. Caleb Stokes returns for the Golden Lions. Golden Lions have possession here. Someone is going to have to inbound. And it will be AC Curry. He'll get it in to Trey John Ware, and the Golden Lions will set up the offense, trailing by two. 14-25 remaining. A.C. Curry has it on the right wing. They're going to get Caleb Stokes for the foul, and the ball goes over to the Braves. Stokes with his second personal. That's five on the Golden Lions. Excuse me, and the Braves will inbound in the backcourt. So Byron Joshua will bring it up. He'll dribble to the left wing, guarded by Trey John Ware. Gets it inside. Pump fake, and Skato Stokes is going to be called for another foul. That was Jeremiah Kendall with the offensive post move. And it looks like we have an additional foul. So there's three on Stokes on the personal foul, the six against the Golden Lions. And we may have a technical foul here. So a technical foul called on Caleb Stokes, and that'll get him four personal fouls. And not sure what he said, but it must have been the magic words as he's hit for the tech. Stokes called for a T. And the first free throw is made by Keandre Montgomery on the technical foul. He'll have one remaining, and the Braves will have possession. He knocks it down. So Montgomery able to extend the lead by three. 35 to 38 is our score. The Braves on top. Now shooting the personal foul, headed to the line would be number 13, Jeremiah Kendall. And check that, they will not get the ball. This will be the personal foul shot afterwards. So the technical foul was shot first as Kendall knocks down his first free throw. And this will be the personal foul as Kendall was fouled by Caleb Stokes. We'll have one free throw remaining, and it'll be a live ball if he misses. But he makes it, and it goes over to the Golden Lions. So a six-point lead now by Alcorn State after the personal foul and the technical foul against Caleb Stokes. Again, not sure what he said to the ref, but it had to be the magic words as he earned himself a technical foul and a sit on the bench. Seat on the bench, rather. Golden Lions bring it up for Trey John Ware. It's Coach Bussey trying to get a little explanation here. Ware almost loses the handle. He gets it over to A.C. Curry. Curry dribbles around looking for it. Doss gets it to him. He gets it over to Ware. 
Gets the screen from Ishmael Platt, who just entered the game. He tries to get it across court and has it stolen away by Ke Keandre Montgomery. And he'll give it over to Joshua to bring it up court. 13.45 remaining in the game. Six-point advantage, all court State. Joshua to the court screen. Gets it, swings it out. This is Montgomery attack, guarded by Lewis. And offensive foul called on Montgomery, Keandre Montgomery. It's called for his second person. And that's the fifth on the Braves. As that was A.C. Curry drawing the charge. Did a great job getting position. As Kylie Milton returns to the game for the Golden Lions. So it'll be Milton, Lewis, Curry, Doss, and Ware on the court. As Milton swings it over to A.C. Curry in the corner. Tracks the baseline, swings it over to Doss. Pump fakes, pulls it back out. Kyle Milton with it, 13 on the shot clock. Doss is going to take a three. And oh, in and out. A.C. Curry chased down the rebound, and it'll reset the play. Fresh 20-second shot clock. Milton pulls up a three and knocks it down. Kylan Milton from downtown. The Conway, Arkansas native, laces the three-pointer and pulls the Golden Lions within three. 38-41 hour score. Braves on top. And that's the 15 point for Kylan Milton tonight. This will be Joshua. He's going to take a three. It's a little bit short. Nice block out by A.C. Curry. And Milton grabs the board. Here's Lewis for three. And rattles out. Rebound. Ball for it is loose. I think it's going to be out of bounds off of the Braves. And it is. It goes over to the Golden Lions. It'll be 20 seconds on the shot clock. And possession. Pine Bluff. 12 29 now remaining. 41 38 B for the Braves. As Orion Verdon will come back in the ball game. It will be AC Curry. Pine Bluff native. UAPB kid. Grew up right here on this campus. This is mom is in residential life. So I've seen him as a kid. Kyler Milton attacks to go. He'll kick it out to where. Robert Lewis will attack. Shoots over the top. No good. Fights for his own rebound. And it is knocked away into the hands of Joshua. He'll try to get it out front. And we have a Wilson foul on the play. They're going to get Trey John Ware for the foul. That'll be his third person. In the seven. Check that. Looks like the eight against Trey PB. It will send number 32, Ladarius Marshall, to the line. The 6'7 senior from Jackson, Mississippi. He'll have two shots. And the front end of the one and one is no good. Kylan Milton, he keeps grabbing that left thigh. He tries to drop it off to Lewis. Saved by Orion Verdon there. Nice save of the youngin. Milton has it, swings it over the block. Verdon thought about the three. Shot clock to 13. Milton attacked, kicks it out. Doss over to Verdon. He thought about it. He'll attack. Goes up off the left hand. No good. Put back by Lewis. No good. And another fight for the rebound. And they get Ladarius Marshall for the foul. That's going to be six against the, six against the Braves. And it's a media timeout. 11.41 remaining in this ball game. Golden Lions trail by three to the Alcorn State Braves. It's the Lions main broadcast of Golden Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in a minute.
Joe Clemens Arena. Golden Lions trailing by 341-38 with 11:41 remaining in this ball game. Scoring updates again: Fairview defeated Texas Southern 78-74, but thrown over Fairview 91-70. With 1:11 remaining in the first half, Jackson State leads Valley 30-28 as the Golden Lions were inbound. 13:50 left in the game. Gremlin leads Alabama State by one, 38-37. As Lewis takes a three-pointer, misses. Rebound goes over to Auburn State. And again, the Alabama a and Southern game has been delayed. So the Braves will bring it up. Coach Bussey gives the instructions from the sideline here. This will be Joshua guarded by Ware out top. 11-15 remaining. Here's the screen. They're going to get a legal screen. And that's going to be against the Kedron Thorne. And that's the second person. That'll be seven against the Braves. And the Golden Lions will shoot in the bonus for the remainder of this one as well. Kyler Milton gets it. They get it in front court to Dawes Jr. He'll just kick it back out to Milton to reset. Milton with a screen from Dawes. Dawes gets it on the pick and roll. Thought about the shot. Here's Vernon for three. A little bit short. And the rebound by Montgomery. He'll get it over to Joshua. He'll bring it in the front court. Man-to-man -man defense again. Here's the screen. Slips it to the right. Here's the help by Robert Lewis. Pass it inside. No good. Getting his own rebound. And Lewis snatches the board. That's Ladarius Marshall working the post. They're going to get Robert Lewis for the five. Robert Lewis called for his first person. That'll be the ninth against the Golden Lions. One foul away from the number bonus. All point. That'll send Ladarius Marshall to the line. He'll have two. That's the throw. And he gets the roll. Otis Walker returns for the Braves, as well as number 23, Dominic Group. And Ladarius Marshall will have one free throw. Second free throw, too long. Rebound, Robert Lewis. So the Golden Lions trailing by four, 38 to 42, with 10 35 remaining in the ball game. Kylie Milton will bring it up, being held by Byron Joshua. A couple screens there by Robert Lewis. They get it over to Doss. He goes up strong, kicks it back out to Lewis. Lewis, pump fakes, goes up, and good. Robert Lewis finishes off of the Sean Doss. Assist. Ten minutes remaining. Trapping defense by the Golden Lions. Here's the attack. And that is Group with it. He'll reset. Guarded by Milton. Goes up off the glass and good. Dominic Group with the finish. And he sends the lead to four. Good pass as Burton has it. Tries to get it off to Lewis and there's a steal. They're going to bring it down to the other end. Again, the shot clock. We have some issues with the shot clock, and they'll reset it here. As one end was working fine, but it's the other end that has some issues. They reset it. And they're going to get Sean Dawson Jr. with a foul here. So that'll be the third foul on Sean Dawes Jr. That's going to be the tenth against the Golden Lions. So Darius Marshall will head to the line after the Sean Dawes foul. Again, Dawes now with three persons. First free throw is made by Marshall. He'll have five remaining. with 9.25 remaining in the ball game. Sean Dawes Jr. will bring it up, crosses over, goes to the cup, has it stripped away. And it goes 
Back to the goal line. Shot block at 19. Trey John Ware will inbound. Guarding will be Count Trey Montgomery. He's 6'7. Trey John Ware about 5'9. He's able to get it in to Burton. Burton will bring it out top. Gets it to Milton. Screen from Robert Lewis. Milton has it. Swings it over to Ware. Ware tries, pulls it back out. He's going to attack. Kicks it over to Dawes from the corner. Bang! Sean Dawes Jr. from downtown. And he pulls the Golden Lions within two. Nice assist there by Trey John Ware. Just under nine minutes remaining, folks. We have a good one on our hands. 45 43. All corn leads at the moment. 8.45 remaining in the ball game. Trey John Ware regarding Byron Jefferson. Joshua. And it's still Trey John Ware with the strip. He's going to attack. And he's going to go off the glass. Trey John Ware with the finish. And the Golden Lions tie it up on the layup by Trey John Ware. A couple of subs checking in for all four. And this will be Dominic Group sending it out top. He swings it over to Montgomery. Montgomery out to Joshua. Lions have dropped to a one-two-two zone defense, it appears. Match up zone. In the corner, Walker, he kicks it out top. This is Groot, he's going to attack. Runs over Bird, takes away, misses the shot, rebound, Kylie Milton. With no number, so Milton will just pull it back out. Golden Lions can regain the lead here. Milton attacks the left side. He's going to kick it inside to Robert Lewis. Nice feed. And the finish by Robert Lewis. Off of the assist from Kylan Milton. 47-45. Notre Lions regain the lead here. They need a good defensive stand. Joshua with it. He gets the screen. 14 on the shot clock for the break. Joshua with a clutch three-pointer. He knocks it down, and the Braves regain the lead by one. Media timeout with 7-19 remaining in this ball game. Braves lead by one over the UAPB Golden Lions, 28-27.
to the line for a one and one. And we have a substitution for the Braves re-entering number 13 Jeremiah Kendall. And Trey John Ware we're here to the strike for the one and one. As Duntrell McWhorter will take a break. 705 remaining in this one. Braves up by one. Ware can tie it up here on the front end of the one and one. And he does. So we're not at 48 with 705 remaining. One shot for Ware. He has eight points on the night. And he makes the second. So the Golden Lions regain the lead by one, 49-48. And they apply full court pressure. Braves in the press break. And the Golden Lions will just retreat. The Braves are set up here with Joshua. Gremlin State has extended the lead to 10, 49-39, with 9.37 remaining in that game over Alabama State. And this will be proven. We'll swing it back out top. Joshua has it, attacks the lane. Goes up with the layup, the finger roll, no good. They're going to get a blocking foul. This is going to be against Burden. So Ryan Burden called for his first person. And the Braves are in the double bonus, so they are shoot two for the remainder of this one. 6.38 left in this ball game. The advantage, Golden Lions by one, 49-48. So again, Joshua will have two shots here. Makes the first. We'll have one shot remaining. remaining for Joshua as we have the game tied at 49 and the Braves regain the lead. So 50-49 on score, Alborn stayed up by one. Joshua now with 14 points, 635 remaining in the game. Milton has it, picked up by Joshua. Gets a screen for Robert Lewis. Gonna attack, goes up. Looking for Lewis down low, a scramble for the ball, ends up in the hands of Burton, who shoots the mid-range jumper a little bit short. Rebound goes over to the Braves. Joshua's just going to slow it down. Golden Lions with that one, two, two defense. With Robin Lewis and his length out top. Shot clock down to 10 seconds. Six clock, six minutes on the game clock. Joshua attacks, moves it over. Joshua gets it back, makes the pass, shoots the three, and laces it. That's Byron Joshua. Prior to the shot clock expiring. And the lead is now four for all four State. 53-49 our score. This will be Trey John Ware. He'll hand off to Sean Dawes Jr. He'll back in. Here comes the double team. Swings it. Milton has it stripped away. That's Trey John Ware has it stripped away. And into the hands of DeKeeser and Thorne. And again, the Braves will pull it back out and reset. Those bus eat up a lot of time on that clock before putting up a shot. The Lions need to stop here. They trail by four. Inside feed into the hands of McWhorter. He goes up, misses. Nice defense by Sean Dawes Jr. And he'll get the rebound. Brings it into the front court. Gets it over to Robert Lewis, pump fakes, goes up, and Lewis finishes off the Sean Dawes Jr. assist. Golden Lions full within two, 53-51, with 440 remaining in the game. Robert Lewis out top of his own defense, one, two, two, for the Golden Lions. Lewis, Milton, Ware, Burden, and Doss on the court. Here's a shot by Joshua, and he knocks down another one. Nice shot there by Byron Joshua. And he extends the lead to four. For the Braves. Milton will walk across midcourt. He's 
matched up with Joshua. He's going to attack, kicks it out to Verdon. He takes the three and too strong, but he's going to be fouled on the three-point shot. And he'll have three free throws. So the foul on Dominic Bruton, his first one, and that'll be the ninth against the Braves. And Orion Verdon will have three free throws here. And he can pull the Golden Lions within one. First free throw is up and good by Verdi. <laughs> Jeremiah Kendall will have to wait another shot. Two shots remaining for Orion Verdi. Three point deficit for the Golden Lions. Oh, it rattles out, went halfway down and came out for Ryan Burden. And now Kendall will relieve a quarter. And Burden with one shot remaining. 407 remaining in the game. As Burden's next shot is good. So the Golden Lions trail by 2, 55-53 as we approach four minutes left in this ball game. This looks like it's going down to the wire, folks, as Ware will pick up Joshua, and the Golden Lions return to man-to-man -man defense. Milton switches off on Joshua. Joshua loses his footing, and it's just going to be a turnover. And a media timeout on the court. Golden Lions trail 55-53 with 3.54 remaining in this one. The Lions main broadcast of the Golden Lions sports. the H.O. Clemens Arena. Braves lead the Golden Lions by 2, 55-53 with 3.54 remaining in this ball game. It's been a back and forth game thus far as both teams have owned the lead for a few moments here in this game. And as we resume action, possession will belong to the Golden Lions. And Burden will inbound to Kylie Milton. Full court pressure by Byron Jos Joshua. He'll pick up Milton. Milton walks across midcourt, picks up the screen from Sean Dawes Jr. Swings it over to Dawson, attacks, loses the handle, gets it back, shoots it off the floater. No good. Robert Lewis with the rebound momentarily, but he loses the handle, and it goes over to Joshua in the break. He'll bring it up court. Picked up by Trey John Ware. Three and a half remaining in this one. Shot clock now down to 20. Ooh, Joshua almost traveled there. As he'll cut toward the basket, has it knocked away by Ware, and he'll come in and get it back. Off to Sean Dawes Jr., kicks it over to Milton. He takes the three, and it's too long. Rebound to the Braves. This is Keandre Montgomery. He goes all the way to the cup, and it's going to be a blocking foul called on Trey John Ware. So that's the fourth on Trey John. Two 
Braves are in the double bonus, so they have two shots here. Headed to the line would be Keandre Montgomery, the red shirt sophomore. 6 7 from Jackson, Mississippi. He transferred in from Mississippi State, and he's able to knock down his first free throw. Second shot by Montgomery, no good. Rebound, Kylan Milton. So 56 53, Braves are on top. Three minutes remaining in the game. Where will be picked up by Montgomery? The dribble to the left, hand off to Burden. Burden swings it to Milton. Milton drives, goes to the cup, off the glass, no good. A lot of contact there, but no call. So the Braves have the rebound. They're walking into the front court. As right now, the clock is on their side. Two and a half minutes left, and they own a three-point advantage. Screen on Milton. Joshua attacks, and the floater up and good over the head of Trey John Ware, and the lead extended to five. Sean Doss wasted no time, has it ripped away, and the steal by DeKedrian Thorne. And back into the hands of the Braves. Coach Bussey will tell Joshua to slow it down. As he saw an opening there, he was going to attack, but Coach Bussey pulled it back out. Two minutes left. 58-53, Braves. Here's the screen. Joshua has it. Matched up against Kylan Milton. He'll try to attack and gets around Milton for the easy layup. Seven point lead. 145 remaining. 23 points now for Joshua. And the Golden Lions are going to take a timeout. 141 remaining in this one. 60 53 lead for Alcorn State over the Golden Lions. We will take a. Let's take a 30 second break and we'll be back with more on the Alliance Bay broadcast of Go to Alliance Sports on 99.3 The Beat. Back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. Golden Lions trail by seven here with 141 remaining in this ball game in the regular season finale for the UAPB Golden Lions. Of course, Lady Lions headed to Birmingham, Alabama next week for the SWAC tournament. And the Golden Lions have possession here and will try to chip into this seven-point lead. Sean Dawes Jr. has it. He'll swing it over to Milton. Defensive pressure turning up by the Braves. Here's where Lewis looking for positioning on the inside as Milton attacks, gets it to Burden. He takes the three. Too strong, and the rebound goes over to the Braves. So Joshua will walk it up court. 115 now remaining. Golden Lions got to turn up the defensive pressure, and they do. They were trying to trap there. Here comes the trap again. Burden defending. They'll kick it back out, waste a little clock. Game clock in about a minute, 10 seconds on the shot clock. This is Joshua attacking again. Loses the handle into the hands of Robert Lewis. They're going to say Raymond Lewis stepped on the end line. And so we're ready to, ready to get back to action. Ball belongs to the Braves after Lewis stepped on the end line. They have a fresh 20 seconds, and we're under a minute remaining. Here's the defense. This is Montgomery with it. Guarded by Milton. Here's the double team. Gets it to a cutting teammate. Here's a three-point shot from the corner, and it is no good. Robert Lewis with the ball. Gets it out to Trey John Ware. Out ahead to Sean Dawes Jr. 30 seconds remaining. Golden Lions trailing by seven. They're going to get a shot off. Milton takes the three. A little bit too strong. Rebound. A.C. Curry tips it. Dawes has it. He takes the three, and it rattles out. And two players getting entangled. 
They're going to get the Braves number one, Dutra and Porter, for the foul. It'll be his third personal and the 10 against the Braves. So the Golden Lions in the double bonus now with 20 seconds exactly remaining. And the deficit is seven for UAPB. So Robert Lewis headed to the line. As Coach Bussy is complaining about something. And the officials. We have a bit of discrepancy. And Coach Bussey is just trying to protect his kids. And he was just saying that, you don't mind the, the uh, chatter and all that. Just can't thread the kids. And I agree with him there. You don't want to thread. And the officials, they'll, they'll get everything situated. All right, folks, it looks like we're about ready to resume action. And you see athletic director Christopher Robinson coming over now. And Robert Lewis will head to the line. First free throw, no good by Lewis. Oh, crucial free throw there. Need every point we can get with 20 seconds remaining, trailing by seven. But the true freshman will have one remaining. He can pull the he can pull the Golden Lions within six, and he does. So Ishmael Fleck will return to the game as Kylie Milton will take a seat. 54-60 is our score. Golden Lions in need of a steal. AC Curry is going to commit the foul. He's going to send Keandre Montgomery to the line. And that is only the first foul against A.C. Curry. But it'll be two free throws. It'll be two free throws for the Braves. So Keandre Montgomery headed to the line. Coach Bussey will send his guy back. And the first free throw is good. back at seven. Make it eight. Kyle Milton will hurriedly get into the front court. He's going all the way. Kicks it to where it takes the three. No good. Robert Lewis slams it home on the putback. Not sure if Back by Lewis is good, but a little discrepancy on the game clock. So it'll be 10 seconds remaining on the game clock. So Ishmael Plett will wait to enter the game as he stands at the table. So a six point advantage for the Braves. They'll inbound. Time to quickly foul here. And there's the foul. A.C. Curry is going to foul Kendra Thorne. That's second. That's two on A.C. Curry. And it will send Thorne to the line. So 
Thorne to the line for two shots here. Seven point six remaining. First free throw is missed. One remaining. Seven point lead for the Braves. Six seconds remaining. Dallas is going to go to the cup and lay it in. Five point deficit for Pine Bluff with 2.7. I don't think it'll be another need for a foul here. As they throw the ball in bounds. Tipped up into the hands of Dawson. He's going to shoot it at the buzzer. No good. And that's going to do it for the Golden Lions season. Our final score All Born State 63, UAPB. Yeah. We'll take a two-minute break. When we come back, we'll have the final stats and scores from around the swag for the Lions main broadcast of Go to Lions Sports. Our final score, UAPB 58, Alcorn State 63. We'll be back in two minutes on the Lions main broadcast, Go to Lions Sports on 99.3 The Beat. <laughs> back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena and it is final folks. Alcorn State knocks off UAPB 63 to 58 in the regular season finale here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. Looking at some of the numbers, Golden Lions shot 28.8% from the field, 17 to 59 compared to 46 and a half from Alcorn State. They were 20 to 43. From behind the arc, we took 36 three-pointers in this one, only made seven for 19.4%. They were 4 13 for 30.8%. Rebounds, 35 for the Golden Lions, 31 for the Braves. We had 12 assists to their six. Also had nine steals to their six. Just not able to get it done here at the end of the ball game. And looking at some of the leading Let's scorers go. Let's go. Let's go. for the Golden Lions, we had Sean Dawes Jr. with 15 points. He led all scores. Well, tied with Kylan Milton, who also had 15 points in the game. Milton pulling down eight boards to go along with his 15 points. Sean Dawes Jr. with three rebounds and three assists as well. Robert Lewis, the true freshman, also getting double figures. He was 4 of 10, 40%. He had 11 points in the loss. On the flip side, Byron Joshua led all scores. He had 23 with five rebounds and three assists. 
And the only other Brave to score in double figures was Mr. Thorne, the Kejian Thorne, and he had 10. So the Golden Lions fall to the Braves here on the regular season finale. They lose 63 to 58 to the Alcorn State Braves. And scoring updates, folks, from around the spec. Let's see, Alabama and M leave Southern. They're finally underway. 839 remaining in the first half. 23 to 13, Alabama and M on top of Southern. Jackson State leads Valley 45 to 38, 1146 remaining in that one. And again, Prairie View defeated Texas Southern 78-74, Bethune over FAMU 91-70, and Bradley State defeats Alabama State 69-49. Well, folks, that'll do it for Golden Lions basketball regular season. And don't forget, next week, your UAPB Lady Lions headed to Birmingham, Alabama, where they will participate in the 2023 SWAC basketball We'll see you next week, folks, and we'll want to stay tuned for DeltaFlexNews.com as well as DeltaFlex Radio, and we'll let you know exactly who the Lady Lions will face and what time they will play in Birmingham, Alabama next week in the 2023 SWAG Tournament. Once again, our final score, Alcorn State 63, UAPB 58. That'll do it for my man, the technical director back at the studio, my man Michael Fuller, for athletic director Christopher Robinson, sports information director Kenny Stokes. I'm Laurel Marby signing off. Final score once again, Alcorn State 63, Pine Club, UPA. We'll see you next time, folks, on the Reliance Main broadcast of UAPB Golden Lions Basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and Duck Flex Radios 99.3 The Beat. Good night, everybody.